Hello, and welcome to Containment Breach 3-Minute Meets. I'm Christian DeMatteo, co-founder of Fugitive Poems, and today we're going to be talking with one of the incredible indie creators in the Containment Breach series. We're going to be talking to Chase Bishop. Chase, how long have you been making comics? Hmm. Now that's an interesting one, because I, before when I was in high school and middle school, I used to make these little... Uh, uh, drawn music videos it wasn't it wasn't really comic style but it was kind of like storyboard animatic style and kind of crude and rough and that just over time that evolved and that i was interested in animation but then i realized how long it takes to do that and just how much effort as well and so when i looked towards other mediums i could express my ideas from I looked at my already big comic collection and thought, huh, that'd be kind of nice to have my own books displayed on a shelf like that. What's what it was your gateway drug into comics? What was your what's your book? Well, back in the day in 2002, after the first Spider-Man movie, my mom got me a few of the ultimate Spider-Man books. But back then, I just looked for it for the pictures. It wasn't until about 2012 when even though I shouldn't have had it at the time, it was The Walking Dead. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, um, did, you, uh, did you read the entire series? Oh, I, 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 tore, I had got all the books for that Christmas that year, and I tore through it all, and I got every comic since then. It was uh, weird during the last issue because we got the solicitations for 193, 4, and 5. Mm. And then I go to the comic shop, I saw the leaks thing is going to be last one. I thought, really? And I saw the book and it was perfect bound 90 page. And I thought, Oh, it is the end. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's now, have you followed, uh, what's his name? Is it, uh, the author Kirch, uh, Robert Kirkman, Kirkman. Thank you. Kirkman. Have you followed any of his other uh, projects? I got a few of, of oblivion song yeah. after the time, but at that point I was starting college and I just couldn't keep up with it. Yeah. Yeah, he's put out a couple other things. Um, so, so now we get a sense of where you are. Uh, you're doing murder mystery, and um, that's going to be on Kickstarter if it's not already. Uh, where should people check? Uh, because uh, we, we don't know when they're watching this video. Where, where should they be checking to see if uh, In the Pads of Yesterday is out? So um, to uh, give like a little background for it. So for the Kickstarter, it's going to be 45 days by the time this goes out that chapter should be done. So I plan on doing it every few months for every subsequent chapter. Okay. And I always post news about it on my social medias, which can be found at underscore Chaz underscore Bernard underscore at Instagram and Twitter. Those are for my social media handles, but also I post my book on Comic Fury. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. So you submitted some of this work for containment breach and uh, we were really taken with it and taken with your style. And you got paired with Patrick Hayes uh, and uh, Patrick Hayes wrote a very cool uh, story. Now I understand uh, that he asked you if there was something you just a genre you'd be interested in drawing. Is that, is that correct? Yes. So how did that go? What did he, what, what did, uh, with that, that conversation go so initially i kind of gauged our interests i wanted to see like okay that i i let out like this is all of my work here i let him see my style let him see my storytelling and but at that point he kind of came to me with his idea and it kind of was a melding of mine and his in his style so we kind of uh got an idea together from what we did and what was it that you told them you wanted to draw that you hadn't before what style uh i think my mostly my favorite genre sci-fi is cyberpunk i it's the hardcore sci-fi of like spaceships that don't really interest me it's more of the dystopian cyberpunk gritty edge yeah. art styles that i love and back in the when i was a teen in high school that's what i tried to do at first but I learned the wrong uh, lessons from Frank Miller. Okay. 
Got it. <laughs> well, you get the right stuff here. Uh, I love it. The comic is called Fading. We don't want to give away too much about it, but it's a very <laughs> unique concept. And, uh, and uh, Chase, you were up to the task of making it look unique as well. Um, and then you got to work with uh, Kyla Merrill, uh, who did lettering on it. And it really is, it really is a tremendous comic. Did you, have, uh, did you have fun making it? You have a good time making it? Yeah, by the time I had the script, as you already remember the first time, I already turned in my page thumbnails like the next day or the day it's after. So good. I hadn't even put out how we wanted thumbnails and I already I'm like oh okay I wasn't fast enough your enthusiasm was clear for it and you and Patrick looked like you really hit it off um and uh, the story certainly uh, shows that Chase it has been a pleasure talking to you I am uh, I'm really glad we finally got to meet and uh I gotta tell you folks Chase is an incredible up-and-coming talent wait till you see uh what he has done in containment breach volume four of clouds and ether. Uh, Chase, thanks for meeting with me today. Thank you for having me. And uh, really glad to have you have you in the book. Ladies and gentlemen, fugitivepoems.com. You can order Containment Breach 1, 2, and 3. And depending on when you're watching this, either click the Kickstarter button on, kicks, on fugitivepoems.com or order it directly from the site. This is an incredible anthology series. And thanks to folks like Chase, uh, we've been able to accomplish our goal that every book we put out uh, doesn't have a dull story in it, which has been been a big thing for me as an anthology uh, uh, consumer for many years. And uh, Chase, you, you really helped us out with that. You and Patrick and Kyla got a great story in there. Folks, FugitivePoems.com, at FugitivePoems on Instagram, at FugitivePoems on Twitter, at CDMETC, if you caught that, that's me on Twitter. Uh, check us out. We are Fugitive Poems. We make comics. <laughs>